The lame man by the pool of Bethesda, he's, he's lying by the pool for 38 years. I just think that story is remarkable. You know, for 38 years, this gentleman is, is waiting around for the water to bubble up so that he can have his turn to jump in. And, and Jesus asks him a question. He says, hey, do you want to get well? I mean, the question alone for me, I just I always find staggering. Do I want to get well? And you know, the, the gentleman says, I can't, you know, 38 years. I mean, that's a long time. That's a long time to be, to be going around in circles. Are there areas in me that, that I'm just going around in circles? And it's been two weeks, it's been two years, it's been 16 years and I'm still going around in circles. And the Lord is asking me, hey, do you want to get well? And so I'm, I'm, I'm challenged by that. He says, he says, someone always gets there before me. I mean, for how long are, are we gonna circle around and, and watch as others get freedom, get their breakthrough and we're viewing from the wings and I wanna be in on the action. I think I wanna do away with some of the, the mindsets that I have and I wanna be transformed, Romans 12, by the renewing of my mind, I wanna, believe that I can get up, I can start over, I can go again, you know, you have a second chance. I mean, wow, thank you Jesus. That story, that story for me, I, I always come back to it. It always fires me up. I always say that, you know, sometimes we, we, we overthink so much, we think ourselves out of things. How many things are we not doing because, because we've thought about it for too long and we've concluded that it's too hard. I feel like that's an invitation from Jesus. Hey, hey, do you want to get well? Like the Lord is just inviting us. He's always beckoning us. Do you want to get free from that? Do you want breakthrough? Do you want, to, do you want freedom? 